welcome guys uh, welcome to our new topic uh, display editor uh, dixi 5 is uh, you can uh, make uh, up to 10 universal pages and also one page that you can uh, make uh, which will be shown when the fault uh, appeared for example if i select fault display configuration uh, i can easily select display line will be showing pickup indication display line 2 would be showing operation indication you can also drop down and you can select the new item display line 3 will be showing time trip time display line 4 uh, will be showing pickup time uh, display line 5 uh, no alarm I'm assigning to it so this is how it's very simple and easy to use so uh, let's start to make our new display you have to click add new display and this uh, matrix will be shown uh, uh, you can draw uh, you have to now draw the, uh, uh, basically single line diagram it, this is a very similar way as you have we have shown to draw in single line configuration on the right hand side in the global dixie 5 library you have certain symbols available so what you have to do just drag and drop this signal say uh, symbols uh, to draw your single line diagram okay uh, uh, the way I was explaining you can draw it but there is another very very excellent way that I'm going to tell you now that by which you can draw the single line diagram very fast so you just have to select single line configuration and then you have to select the uh, cable feeder number and you have to click then create display so this will now create display automatically so I have clicked on create, creating created display here you can see that uh, uh, this uh, cable feeder single line diagram is produced which is similar to our single line configuration automatically and with, uh, within no time okay now this has been imported uh, but you have you are see, uh, seeing that uh, this uh, isolator or picker symbol this is uh, in, in gray color gray means uh, this is static this is not dynamic so if you uh, install this configuration in the relay irrespective of the status it will always be showing in open condition so we have to make it dynamic so let's make now it dynamic it's also very simple just you have to go to disconnector find disconnector you have one disconnector if you have a two or three disconnector all disconnector will be appearing here like disconnector one two or three so what we have to do is very simple you will just enjoy it drag click drag and draw position of isolator to qb1 the isolator now it become dynamic so now you have uh, added successfully the indication but if you want to add the command this is uh, another uh, dynamic operation just you have uh, go to the control and drag and drop command with feedback to qb1 if you if you want to make operation through bcu so mm, it's super fast and it's uh, very easy so we will do the same operation we will select uh, command and we will select uh, uh, indication we have just have to drag and drop so each of the isolator and breaker now contain two functions one is indication another one is command so great okay if you want to uh, change the symbols you don't like the symbols or you are working in a region that you have a different symbols so it's also uh, you have option for it you have just to select click this and editor will open now you can see the symbol editor is now uh, open so you have for example here four uh, uh, type of uh, uh, status available one is uh, off position of uh, breaker another one is close position of breaker uh, the third one is disturbed because it is not getting any status and fourth one is intermediate so th these are four options you can now draw this is simply simple, simple uh, drawing so this is super fast uh, did you like it so thank you very much